All right, good luck, everybody. Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. About to do this right here. 2017 Tops Chrome Baseball 12 box. Pick your team number six. We're giving away the Yankees, and we're giving away 150 bucks of break credit. Top three win 50 bucks of break credit in a separate randomizer at the end of the video. Um, at this part of the video, you know what? Maybe I'll do a separate video for that break credit giveaway. I don't know. No, it'll be at the end of the video. So if you're looking for the break credit, it might just go right to the end of the video, and you'll you'll see some sort of randomizer. Now, this randomizer right here is a separate dice roll for this randomizer. Let's kill that blank spot right there. This is for the Yankees. So whoever's randomized to the top will get the Yankees. We're giving away the Yankees in this break, as well as money. We're giving them a lot of stuff. So after five times, two and a three for this list. This is for the Yankees. One. Two, three, four, and fifth and final time. Name on top. Whoa, Rory Wagner. There you go, Rory. Let me copy your name. After five times, Yankees for you. Let me print this list out, and then we shall go. Let's print this baby out. This is for Pick Your Team 6. So Ziggy officially has Last Bot Mojo with the Tigers and Rory with the little rooftop or a carrot next to his name. It's called a carrot, I think. Um, different from a diamond carrot. Anyhow, that usually indicates that was some sort of giveaway. All right. There's the case right there. And there we are on a Tuesday. Big thanks to everybody right here for getting into the action. I know Alan got a spot late, and then Joe Kroll got a bunch of spots. King D got the Dodgers, and that really kicked everything off and got everyone else to get in there, get their teams in. So I appreciate the fast fill on this tonight. We haven't done this in a long time. I've got a little reminder right here to do the break credit because I'm sure after an hour I'm going to forget. There you go, Ziggy saying, hey, if I'm not going to get the Yankees, Rory's the guy I would cheer for. There you go, see? It's the Jaspi community staying positive, backing each other up. I love it. All right. Should I open up all the boxes at once? I kind of have the inkling to do that. You know what? I think I am. I'm going to open up and, and pack stack all the, all the packs at once. You know, and then we'll just fly. Th we'll just fly through the break. That's what we're gonna do. So, if you're watching right now live, this is a good time to stretch your legs, go get an adult beverage or two, if you're an adult. You know, or you know, get into some comfy clothes, get get into a comfortable position, because we're gonna be opening up all of these first, and then we'll pop open, and then we'll just fly through the break. That's what we're going to do. I think that'll make life a little bit easier for all of us. Break will go a little bit faster, too. Uh, if, if, if your state so inclines, Ziggy, then yes, that, that's something one could do as well. It's okay in California. All right, box number one. So ultimately, all we gotta do is keep track of uh, we want to see 24 autographs because there's two per box. So 
on average, unless they don't do that. On average, that can kind of hurt us too. Ziggy says he doesn't want autographs. He just wants a super fracture. I see. I don't think I've seen a super fracture out of here. I'm pretty sure. I want to say like Jason Jaspi got a super fracture in a Topps Chrome Jumbo break. I want to say he got one in a Jumbo break, but not in a... You know, but I don't. I, I know I haven't. Maybe I have. I, I honestly don't remember one. open, slice all of these open. Stack all these boxes up here so you see all the boxes right there and I'll be stacking all the packs right over here. So. This is going to take a minute or two. So bear with me, folks. And yeah, that's all right, King D. Easier easier to sell. Easier to sell the card. There's no there's no attachment to it. In case breaks, I don't know. I think if I were doing it, I think I, I would rarely go for my own team. I would rarely go for my own team because it would be just easier for me to sell afterwards. <laughs> there you go, Ziggy. Ziggy's going to do some sort of voodoo to try to get himself some, some big hits out of this one. Yeah, listen, this is going to take some time, folks. So feel, feel free to, to uh, well, feel free to keep hanging out and watch the rhythmic opening of packs. You know, the hypnotic and rhythmic opening of packs. Or you can, uh, you can I don't know, do something else for like the next 20 minutes or so. This is going to take some time. So I've opened three boxes. Three boxes in about, it's not even 10 minutes in the break. So I'm, making, I'm actually making some decent time. What is that? That's what I said. Oh, that's out of one of the Steiner boxes, really? I think. Yeah. Why is it open? That's what I'm saying. Maybe we took it out. Oh, hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, I could put shoes. Shoes might fit me. Those shoes might fit you. Think about it. Look at. I'm gonna try to sell. It looks like you don't want to try to put shoes. Well, those might. Those could fit you. <laughs> you can make those work. Uh, J Jason's working the 10 buck breaks at the moment, King D. Yeah, I'm trying to, clear, uh, trying to fill up clearly authentic. He's trying to fill that clearly he's authentic. Four boxes, nothing crazy. So he's got to work on that. Oh, do I have your red or something? Yeah, I mean, do you have, do you, if you have a second. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you want to come up to my right side right over here. Yeah, Jason will help us open up a few boxes too. And then help him fill that clearly authentic baseball that he has on uh, for 10 buck breaks.
<laughs> Ziggy, you gotta post the Ziggy Ziggy's like every night I plan to post cards on eBay and every night I buy breaks on Jaspies instead. Yeah, Ziggs, I want you to you need to you need to sell some stuff so you can get back into get back into our breaks more often, big times. Big time, you know what I mean? Like everyone goes through a buying cycle and a selling cycle. And sometimes, hey, you know, I know a lot of people go on a heavy buying cycle. Sometimes then you gotta get in on a big on a big selling cycle too. So get into it, Ziggs. Alright, I'm gonna turn the camera angle a little bit right here. You'll see Jason uh, taking I already ripped everything, so so you'll see Jason opening on the uh, on the right side of your screen over there. And then we'll get everything going. Oh, Ziggy's saying it's hard It's hard to part with his card. He says, I just love my card so much. Each is a memory, he says. Like the Braves came in yesterday. You remember the time I pulled that awesome dance piece? Redemption at the end, because we that's right. We played to the whistle around here. No, it's true. Yeah, it's... I think that's the, that's the unique thing about case breaking, is that not only are you getting the hits, but... You know, if you if you play with the right breakers, you know what I mean. Then then you also get like an, an, a mild entertainment value attached to it too, and that's what we try to deliver at Jaspies. Like not just not just fun break, not just big hits, but just a fun overall I guess overall experience is what we're trying to bring. Is that right? That Phil Negro auto only went for five bucks. I got it. I thought it would go for more. I don't know. I feel like a lot of times those names are often a lot bigger in my head as a big baseball fan, and I and I that kind of I get swept up in that emotion as opposed to the hobby emotion. I know that Phil Negro isn't like selling like you know like a million dollars or anything like that, but I certainly thought more than five. Could have just been a weird, a weird day or something like that. So that's a box right box. here. Yeah, it's only one box. So, so each stack right here are two boxes tall. So just keep that in mind, just so you can kind of keep track of everything. Roy got the last. Uh, yeah, Roy got randomized. I think yeah. Someone's asking one spot with the. Actually, I think so. He's not even here watching us. No, I, I mean he's probably asleep by now. Yeah, he only got the he only got the Brewers. <laughs> he only got the Brewers. Oh, I keep forgetting that. Dodgers lose today. Yeah, they lost. Damn. That Reese Hoskins man. That Reese Hoskins. That dude's on fire. Oh, uh, well, the Diamondback, or the Padres helped us out. They beat the Diamondback 6-2. Yeah, I think the lucky number is still number four, right? Or is it three? No, 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 it goes three now. Oh, because they lost? Because they lost, yeah. I think we, with that, the magic number goes down even more. They were up 2 nothing. Yeah. Reese. He's going to be huge next year for his card. I know, well, yeah, we were looking it up. He's nowhere. He's only, like, in contenders and elite extra edition. Yeah. So there you go. What up, Rex? Oh well, thanks, Kevin Crouch. Yeah, I mean, listen. In terms of the customer service, I always feel like I always feel like that's the most underrated thing. Any 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 of the breakers out there in the world can 
can you, this the prices aren't very different for this stuff. You know what I mean? You could go anywhere, and and, and it's your right to do so. You know what I mean? But you know the the everyone opens up packs pretty much the same. I mean, the autographs are the same. The cases are the same. Nothing's really that much different. But the the thing that we try to bring, obviously, is hey, if something here we're, we're human, right? If something goes wrong, you want to know that there's someone, and sometimes it takes time for us to investigate everything and figure everything out. But you want to know that everyone is gonna it, that that there's someone here that's looking out for your stuff, that's gonna make things right one way or the other. You know what I mean? If something goes wrong, and sometimes things do. Not, I mean, you'd be surprised. It's not. It's it's about you know when you're working with uh, other breakers and stuff, anyone can have a good time anywhere. It's not. It's about what happens when you know something gets messed up. That's when you know the true character of of a business. You know what I mean? And yeah, I mean that's why we that's why we think like customer service is customer service is so important. You know, and we try our best to make it right one way or the other every time. You know, sometimes, sometimes just things are delayed. That happens. Things get mixed up. We track it down. We make it right. You know, we we try to work with people on, on on all that stuff. So I think the customer service is always is always the key thing. Knowing that knowing that if something goes wrong, that we'll make it right. I think that's the key. That's the key to. I mean, it's key to any business. And yeah, and I think it's important for us to have fun too. This, I mean, if this isn't fun, then you know, I don't think Jason and I would be doing this. You know what I mean? Like, we get to we get to open up sports cards for a living. You know, we get to see what's inside. We get to see all what cool hits we can we can pull for for not only for ourselves too. It's a selfish thing for us too. We like to want we want to know what's inside. You know, so like we want to see all that stuff too. Just like you guys. We might as well have fun doing it. This isn't fun. I mean, I can't imagine. I can't imagine someone, you know, wanting to wanting to like watch a break or watch him like what six hours a night or something like that. You know, or listen to them six hours a night or something like that, and just have it not be fun or have them not be entertaining. That. Sounds like a sounds like a waste of time for me. Thanks, Jason. No, 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 it's all good. I can get this last couple. Um. Yeah. Well. That, that, those are for different reasons, Rex. Those those are for different reasons. Um, Kevin says sometimes you like other breaks and just saying it's a job. Yeah, I mean this is a job for me too. There are days when I'm tired as well. No, I I see I I hear what you mean. You know, I don't know. I I think a lot of times people get. Um, I think a lot of times people get a uh, these are these are like it's like their second job or something like that or it's not their full-time job and so I can see where if you had a full-time job and you were trying to do this a few a few nights a week or something like that oh that'd be tough especially if you're just trying to establish your channel you know there's a lot of when we first started there's a lot of long lonely nights of just me and like Arthur and like Frank Hiller and Eddie on and just a few people, just a few of us, you know, just sitting around and just hanging out. You know what I mean? Like there were, there were just some long nights of that. It's tough. It's not easy. Yeah, I do try to, I mean, listen, this stuff is exciting because like I'm always impressed you know, if you look at the numbers of our business, I'm always impressed where I'm just like, really? People are buying this much from us? You know, it's just, it's just like, it's just cardboard. You know what I mean? It, and, um, I think I'm, I think I'm genuinely appreciative of that because like, 
this is obviously this is um, fun money, right? Everyone should be using their fun money, right? This should be fun. Like, you could t you could use this movie. Yeah, you could go to the casino instead. You know, you could go to you can go to the movies. You can get a nice dinner. You can buy a steak. You can buy like that new. You know, you can save up for something else. You know, maybe get a nicer DVD player or Blu-ray player or something like that. You know, you can buy a new Xbox. I mean, there's like a lot of things you could do with your hobby money, right? Or your fun money. But I appreciate that you guys spend it with us, and I think that's, uh, you know, I think that's not. I appreciate that. You know. Stop. King D does not use his life savings for this hobby. King D, King D has plenty. Don't worry. I'm, I'm, I met King D in person. He visited the store here in California. You should see it. You, I know how he rolls. Don't, don't make him act like, like he, we're eating him out of house and home. Yeah, Rex was there at the beginning too. Yeah, that's right, Rex. Yep. Yeah, Rex has been around, been with us for from the beginning. Actually, Rex has probably seen us in like super quiet nights, you know, where, where it was just us, a handful of us, just talk, just talking like we usually do, but with just fewer people, you know, and just goofing around like we usually do. That's how we do it. There you go. <laughs> Beginning was like a few years ago. By now, a few years ago. So National too, yeah. King D flew out to the National as well, so we saw him there. We know how King D rolls. <clears throat> okay. There we go. See? What are we this is this break is gonna we're gonna fly through this break. Now this will be record time. Alright, so we are gonna fly through this break. So vet base doesn't ship, but inserts like this will ship. Sorry, this Kenley Jansen not gonna ship. But a lot of things do. This will obviously ship, obviously ship, even though it's not numbered. There's our first autograph, Eddie Gamboa. Part of the Gamboa crime family. It's Gambino, I know, but it's fun to say it the other way. Rays, that goes to Alan Murdoch. Right, Rex, we out. We, we did some personal boxes back in the day. There's Bruce Maxwell. We did eBay breaks. Boss Man's been threatening to start up, start up some eBay breaks again. But instead of it being a core of our business, it's going to be more used as a uh, sort of a marketing or a, yeah, like an advertising tool instead. Brett Gardner. So those refractors will obviously ship. There's some variations too. I keep, I, if you're wondering why, why I keep stopping at this card, because there is a variation of Aaron Judge running around the bases. Um, so it always, it always gets me. I like these uh, negative refractors right here. Those aren't numbered, but they're short printed to a certain extent. Nice Aaron Judge, we'll save those. Is that Freshman Flash numbered? It's not. So that was box one. Oh yeah, we were, the early days we didn't we didn't have a face camera. It would just be it would just be hands. I think we were Rex, I wanna say. You may remember this better than I do. I want to say we were probably among the. I want to say we're probably we were probably among the first to have fake cameras on our faces. Maybe there are some others, but there's Ulysses Gurriel. You almost missed that autograph. What's he doing? Does he sign all of those like that? Astros. Joe Kroll. Nice. We'll stack the autographs right here. Joe Kroll with the Astros. We should have 24 by the end, unless this case shorted us an autograph. I'll sleeve in. A, I'll we'll sleeve those special parallels a little bit later. 
sometimes those are numbered. Those Cody Bellingers will set aside as well. I know those base cards definitely have uh, some value, like the Aaron Judge. Well, hey, you know, Rex, you, you still stuck with us over the years. Nice Tyler Glass now. That's 224 out of 250. Purple parallel for the Pirates. Booker G with the Buckos. You Darvish, purple parallel, 191 out of 299. This will still go to the Rangers. That's for Peter Souza. Jacoby Jones, Tigers. There you go, Ziggy, last spot mojo. Not numbered, but nice. Tigers got to start their, their rebuilding. It's pretty soon. Man, this guy, finally healthy, and now just like spent the whole season healthy, crushing the baseball. There's Ian Happ. Nice blue wave, Ian Happ. Joe Kroll with the Cubs. Nice one, Joe. 42 out of 75. Blue wave on card auto. They're all, they're all on card, I'm pretty sure. Got Aaron Judge again. We'll sleeve that up. Top load it a little bit later. Another Aaron Judge. David Dahl, Wilson Contreras, Contreras again, Aegon, Arenado, and Francisco Lindor. What are the, oh, aha, uh -huh. one of these is a refractor, nice. Frankly, all of those, um, all of those, uh, like, refractors and parallels and all that sort of stuff, um, for those Aaron Judge and Cody Bellingers, they all still have value, like, you can make up almost the entire cost of a team, just digging up all these ones. Uh, you sent an email about an order. What about an order, Steve Freeze? Depends. I usually don't check those, uh, those emails. The customer service department usually does. Mookie Betts, purple, 255 out of 299. That'll be one for the Red Sox. That'll be Mark Glassman with that one. It's not numbered. Jameson Ty on Prism. And Josh Smoker. Nice. I'm sure there's some sort of some sort of line from the mask with Jim Carrey that could be used here, but I don't know if it's time to bring back quotes from the mask. Alright. Is it time? I don't think it's time. I don't think we can do that yet. It hasn't brought, it hasn't come back around. Gregory Polanco, that's just a refractor. Nice looking one though. Billy Hamilton. Uh, we're breaking uh, 2017 Topps Chrome Baseball right now, Ron. There's Andrew Benintendi. Nice Marcus Stroman Gold Wave. 34 out of 50. Nice one for the Blue Jays. That'll go to... Robert Dalpra. Um, well, Steve, I would recommend um, buying the other team right now before it goes away. 25 out of 299, Andrew Benintendi purple for the Red Sox. And then um, we can just refund you for the other team. That'll probably be the easiest way to do it. And you can assure yourself that you'll get the team that you want. Brett Phillips, on card auto for Rory. Rory and the Brew Crew. Nice one, Rory. 458 out of 499. 
Ivan Nova, Gregory Polanco. I uh, not, have not seen any Angels as of yet. Alex Reyes, he'll be back next season. Julio Urias should be back next season too. And nice blue wave, Addison Russell for Joe Kroll and the Cubs, 48 out of 75. Nice looking one. Buster Posey in the back. All right, these are two box stacks right here, next two boxes. There's Jarrell Cotton, that is not, almost looked like a parallel, right? And some of these can be autographed too. There's a black white parallel. You Darvish. Yeah, just send me an email, Steve, and just be like, hey, um, can you just refund for break number whatever? There's Christian Arroyo, and then make sure you buy your team in whatever break you want to originally get them in so you don't. Um, so you don't, just so you don't lose your team. 51 out of 499. Opposite Joe Mojo. Going oppo with the Giants, Joe Kroll. Some of these are autographed too. I love that 87 wood frame set. Classic. Redemption, oh. Any guesses on what the redemption's gonna be? What were the redemptions in this? Did you say the label maker wasn't working, Joe? Well, I couldn't get it to work. So, okay, well, I'm just, I mean, so. I'm just gonna say broken. <laughs> I mean, I, I reset the computer, I did everything, but replugged it back in. That's cool, that's fine, because I'll just say it. Yeah, I'm okay with that too. Axel can do it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, put Axel to work. Braden Shipley, purple parallel, 118 out of 299. That'll go to the Diamondbacks, Nino, with that one. And Roman Quinn for the Phillies. That goes to Joe Kroll in the fight in Phils. Kevin Crouch is guessing Judge, Swanson, Arcia, Bradley Zimmer, says Sublime. Here, we'll finish off that stack, and then we'll take a look. Any other guesses? Nice Carlos Correa, another Cody Bellinger. We'll set that aside, Dodgers. Tyler Glass now, not a parallel. Not a parallel here. <laughs> Kevin Kratz says, that Orioles pitcher that you hope you end up doing good? Who is that? Dylan Bundy, maybe? Kind of a young and up-and-coming pitcher. Yes, Jaspie's Hobby on Gmail. Yes, correct, Steve. Man, that's still up and coming. I remember him in 2013. Who, Dylan Bundy? Yes. I mean, he just started a full season this year. Jesus. I think he, I think he must time. have, he must have gotten like Tommy John or something to like that knocked out. I used to rip a bunch of his stuff in 2013. That, that probably killed a year. Yeah, with Profar and all those other guys. But he's he was pretty hot for the like first half of the season. Kyle Schorber and Seth Lugo is your autograph. Is there a redemption? Yeah, I forget who the redemptions were. Watch, it's going to be that one. It's going to be Tuki Toussaint. <laughs> and say, saved all that for, created all that suspense for nothing. Um, these are parallels. Let's just look at the last bit right here. I don't think there'll be any more autographs. It's Mikhail Franco. These are parallels, which I'll sleeve up later. All right. So behind Kyle Hendricks, congratulations. You are due to receive a rookie autograph of first letter A, L, L, E, Lewis Brinson. There you go. I was like, who starts with L? Lewis Brinson. That's a Brew Crew for Rory. Sorry about that. Hit the mic there. Uh, 
All right, another two box stack right here. We're flying through this break. Christian Arroyo leads us off. That goes to the Giants, Joe Kroll with another Christian Arroyo. Utilizing that opposite Joe Mojo. Nice George Springer prism. There's Zach Granke. Zach Granke, chance for Cy Young maybe? He's had a good, pretty good season. There's Andrew Tolles, who was having a great season before he had a season-ending knee injury. Now I don't know what they're going to do with him when he's back next season. But he was on his way to being proper starter. Dodgers autograph going to King D. Some people might be saying Kenley Jansen, maybe. Cy Young, Kershaw Cy Young. Kershaw missed some games, though. That's the thing. He might get dinged for that. Max Scherzer, perhaps. There's Mark Melanson. 9 out of 75. Ron saying it's Kershaw and Chris Sale in the AL. <coughs> the Melanson will go to... Uh, the Giants, of course. <coughs> Excuse me. Aaron Judge going to Rory and the Yankees, of course. Did we already go through these? I think so, no? Yeah, we did. <coughs> Kershaw and Sale. Chris Sale. Corey Kluber's been finishing the season off pretty good, though. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got a little throat lozenge in my mouth right now. Should help. i to save my voice for tomorrow. Tomorrow should be a busy day, folks. Check out all the pre-orders on jazbeeshobbyland.com. There's Kenley Jansen, 107 out of 150. He'll be, a, he'll be a crucial part of the Dodgers postseason. Oh yeah, we already went through these. And there's Braden Shipley. There's Herman Marquez. And Carlos... Asuaje goes to the Padres, Friars. That is for Mike Coster. Tyler Austin. Lewitsky, black and white, negative. And Mitch Hanniger. Nice Mitch Hanniger for the Mariners. Think the Indies are going to be hard to beat for anyone? What, just because they rattle off 22 wins? I don't know. I think, I'll be honest with you, and let me know what you guys think. I think momentum and streaks like that aren't necessarily, not necessarily as important for, not as, not as important for baseball as it, is, as it may be with other sports. You know, and I think with the five game divisional series, that makes the variables for that makes the variables for um, the getting to the World Series, let alone winning it, makes it so random. How many times have you seen a wild card team? There's Donnie Hart how, for the Orioles. How many times have you seen a uh, wild card teams? You know, in the wild card era, win um, win the World Series.
But see, this is like people, uh, Orioles is Jesse. There you go, Jesse. It's like when people say, oh, well, okay, so are the Dodgers, are the Dodgers bad now just because they lost, you know, 15 out of 16 games or something like that, you know? All of a sudden, they're they're just a garbage team, you know? Like, there's Cole Hamill's gold, but they have 96 wins, you know what I mean? 24 out of 50. Does that not count for anything? You know, is it just what happened in September? Uh, gold Cole Hamels goes to Peter Souza and the Rangers. But I, I think playoffs like the... That's just a facsimile autograph. There's Ian Desmond. Playoffs in baseball, I feel like it's so random. 91 out of 150. With basketball, I almost want to say uh, Ian Desmond goes to the Rockies. With, with like basketball, I feel like you can say, okay, these are these top teams are clearly the top teams. You know what I mean? And with football, there's any given Sunday, right? Any, any, anything can happen on any given Sunday. But baseball, there's just so many variables because there's like it's literally like two different seasons. There's Dan Vogelbach, another Mariner for Jaime. You had the Mitch Hanniger earlier. You got this one now. Um, there's so many variables. Like, there's two seasons. There's, like, regular season. That's one separate season. And then the playoffs are a completely different animal. And that's, like, another season in and of itself. So it's kind of weird. You can you can build, like... And that must be... That looks like a variation right there. I'm going to set that aside. Um, because you can construct a good regular season team, but not a good playoff team. But you, you can construct a good playoff team, but not have a good, you know, not have a good regular season team to even get you into the playoffs. So I think that's, I think that's kind of crazy. Aaron Judge, Herman Marquez, nice short prints. So TJ Rivera, I don't think I've seen TJ Rivera here. Right, there you go. In terms about, in terms of like the, the YouTube stream talking about, um, YouTube stream talking about the uh, about like teams winning multiple world back to back World Series in a row. That's part of it. It's difficult. It's difficult to do to grind out, you know, the 162 game season, then go through the playoffs the way it's formatted now. It makes it hard um, to because before think about it, people. Um, well, way back in the day, the AL and the NL would just go straight to the World Series. You know, then when they conf when they divisioned them out with the West, it was just West and East, and they would go directly into, um, they would go directly into um, the CS, the Championship Series format, right? And then in the mid '90s, they realigned, and then they introduced the wild card, and then more recently, there's Rob Stegen in for the Dodgers and King D. Then more recently, they uh, they added the second wild card. So now there's a lot more variables. A division series is five games. That's a short series. You know, if you think about it, you can get, you know, a good team can get knocked out of a five-game series pretty quickly. So to, like, to repeat is uh, is definitely a challenge, let alone just getting getting to and winning the World Series in the first place. That's, I mean, that's, that's what I think. I'm sure there are numbers to back that up and, and or disprove that, but so that's just my gut feeling. All right. Any guesses on this redemption right here? Another redemption coming up. Nice Aaron Judge. The, in the old old school 87 tops wood frame design. I like that they do that. Any guesses on this? Last two boxes, just like that. I don't know if that was any faster. We're, we're at the 45 minute mark. It felt shorter. Kevin Crouch is Aaron Judge. Well, there's a red Andrew Tolls. Wow, that's one out of five for King D. Nice. Poor Andrew Tolls. If he didn't, like, destroy his knee. I mean that wouldn't that wouldn't have paved the way, would not have paved the way for uh, 
Cody Bellinger, actually. One out of five, King D with the Andrew Tolls. He'll be back next year. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Uh, what are what are we asking? What am I what are we what am I being asked, Ron? There's Andrew Tolls again for King D. Four out of fifty. Yeah, I don't know what the Dodgers kind of have a crowded outfield next year. I don't know what, what they're gonna do with Andrew Toll. I mean I'm sure they'll be able to they'll be able to use him, but another redemption coming up. Oh, there's an orange Joe Jimenez. Nice, 25 out of 25. And there's another redemption. Oh, who are the last repeat worlds? Yeah, I thought... Yeah, didn't the Yankees repeat? Starling Marte. 18 out of 299. I'm pretty sure it was the Yank Pirates that goes to Booker G. Like in the late 90s, yeah. They must have gone like 96, 97, 98 or something like that. Did I go through all these already? I'll go through them again. I feel like they won two in a row. Maybe, maybe, even, or maybe went to three. Won two in a row or something like that. Maybe won the first two, lost the third one. Jake Thompson, part of that young Phillies team right there. Joe Kroll with the Phillies. These Phillies could be scary in a few years, Joe. It's 114 out of 150. That a parallel? Lucas Giolito actually pitching pretty well since since he got called up. Someone else to look out for. Don't throw away your Lucas Giolito autographs yet. There's Andrew Benintendi, 13 out of 150. Hunter Renfro. Margot. And there's Renato Nunez. That'll go to the Oakland A's. Booker G with the A's. But yeah, that was well before the, um, you know, that was well before the second wild card too. I think the second wild card was introduced like 2000, like recently in like the last five years or something like that. 2012, right? After the new collective bargaining agreement. But yeah, it's been a while since since that repeating happens. All right, redemption number one behind Arolas Chapman. Will it be his teammate Aaron Judge? MLB, well, no, it might be even better. MLB award winner autograph. We better save this one. That's going to be a especial. Behind Adam Wainwright is you're due to receive a rookie autograph of A, no, B, No, I don't know. B R. Oh, Bradley Zimmer. Where does is he a Diamondback? Why am I blank? No, he's an Indian. Yeah, he's an Indian. I don't know why I blanked on that. It's been a while since we did this. Cleveland Indians. Michael G with the with the tribe. All right. Trout, maybe, Kevin Crouch? That would make Kanjua very, very happy. That'd be a cool way to end the break. MLB award winner autograph of... K? That's kind of a short name. Ken Griffey? No? Chris Bryant? K-R-I-S Bryant. 
Cubs, Joe Kroll, MLB award winner autograph, Chris Bryant. Nice. That is a strong way to end the break. Boom. There it is, folks. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. That was uh, that was Topps Chrome Baseball. Pick your team number six from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Oh, let's do a quick, uh, I'll write this in the video description as well. We'll do a quick, quick uh, recap. So there should be 24 autographs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25. Bonus. I think this MLB award winner's autograph may be, a, may be the bonus autograph. All right, so we closed out nicely with Chris Bryant. There's Bradley Zimmer, Renato Nunez. That was an out of five Andrew Tolls. There's Donnie Hart. Kevin Crouch wants to know who what he's all about. Lewis Brinson. Brett Phillips. This is a solid case. This is all right. Ian Happ, Blue Wave. Tyler Glass now. Got a train whistle in there and a lot of cool parallels that will sleeve up and top load. Oh, we've got break credit to give away. So let's give that, I almost forgot about it. If it wasn't for that note, totally would have forgot. All right, so let's go back to the list. Let's grab Nino with the Diamondbacks all the way to Josh with the Nationals and everybody else in between. Let's pop them in here. And the top three, so it's 150 bucks of great, great, great credit. It's great credit, break credit. Top three, 50, 50, and 50 dollars each. After four times, three and a one, four times. One, two, three, and one more time, four. After four times, it's <laughs> Rory, who got the Yankees in the randomizer, also gets 50 bucks. Alan, you get 50 bucks. Joe, you get 50 bucks. There you go. And Alan wanted break credit earlier on too. He called it. <laughs> there you go. Thanks very much, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Uh, pick your team number six in the books. Thanks to Jason Jaspie for helping me rip the packs earlier in the break. Um, that's it. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.